All right, here I am logging back into Create Space for part four of this video series. Stupid pop-up. I'm going back into the product that I've created. I'm going to check out, I've just finished my cover. I'm gonna change the cover title to what I decided on as I was designing and uh, adding myself a little subtitle here. I was just checking the cover to make sure I typed in what I typed in on the cover for the title. And then I am going down to change the publishing date to today, save and continue. There's the ISBN, it just takes you through the rest of the process in order. I'm browsing for my saved coloring book file. I have named it so that I know which is final and how many pages it is at quick glance. And then it actually takes a long time to upload. Uh, this video is sped up <laughs> because I live in a small town of 100 people and our internet is the town's internet. It's not super fast. Sometimes we get kicked out of it and it makes you log in again. Uh, so <laughs> I don't sit here and make you watch the whole thing. I actually ended up um, moving on to some other things. Now, once you've uploaded your file and you can actually close out of this, you will be prompted to review the interior if it found issues. You're going to see that CreateSpace did find, quote, issues with my document, but when I'm able to use the the visual proof viewer, they flag all of their, quote, errors, and you can see if they are uh errors enough for you to make any adjustments. Mine, it was just some of my drawing went a little bit into the margin area and it's not a big deal because it's not going to get cut off anyway and it looked fine to me. Uh, here I am moving on to add my cover while it is continuing to upload. I had to enable Flash Player because it was disabled and you need Flash Player in order to be able to use the visual proofer on CreateSpace. And so I had to go in and download Flash and then install it and then figure out how to make an exception. So it took me a little bit of extra time. I didn't realize that I had disabled Flash in Chrome. And so, you know, you just end up troubleshooting as you go through the process. But I did include some of this stuff just so you can see what happens and how things do come up and you work around them. Uh, you will see when we get into the proof, which is gonna flip through relatively quickly because I did speed up that video clip as well that I end up needing to make some adjustments to the PDF file and then re-uploading it. Again, that's something that's pretty normal as you are getting down to the wire. I mean, as I was putting together the PDF, I did notice that, you know, I had some spelling errors, etc., and needed to correct those. And so I would have to upload a new file or a new page to my main file, etc. Here I finally enabled Flash, so I'm launching the interior reviewer and you'll see it loading. Again, this is sped up, so then you can just click through and you will notice these little red or orange callouts with um, more information. If you click on one, you get more information of what the error is, the specific error is. And again, you can still print without fixing these errors because they're not necessarily errors. They're just alerts, things that you might want to take a look at, you know, things that could be critical if I had some critical information and didn't want it to get cut off. These are just drawings. Uh, this says the line art's outside the margins. Here is an error where I see that I forgot to add a couple extra blank pages. So that is something that I am just noting to myself which illustrations they were. So I can go back into the Adobe PDF document, the Adobe Acrobat document, and add those blank pages so that everything prints the way I expect it to. So here we're just going through the entire coloring book page by page, about the author, by by the end. I decide that I want to go back into my file go to the tools menu, the organize pages menu, and then my computer actually ends up hanging a little bit. So <laughs> we just kind of sit around and imagine that there's hold music going on. But I did click at the bottom of the page, go back and make changes. I am clicking on the interior 
portion of the screen flow to upload a different file. Uh, I'm going back into my file because Acrobat actually froze and crashed that last time I'd opened it, so I needed to open it again. Again, this is all typical process stuff. You know, this isn't a perfect process. This is a work in progress, and everybody deals with their own roadblocks. You know, Flash wasn't working, the internet crashes, you lose a file and have to remake changes. All that kind of stuff can happen, and you just keep going, stay in your flow. It looks like there were two pages that I ended up needing to add blank pages for so that the back of the illustration would print blank. And I'm just double checking as I go back up the document. I'm going to save it again, upload a different file, and then again it's going to upload it. And you know, you could go back and forth with this as many times as you wanted to. I am the only one proofing and editing. I could send it off to some other people and have them, you know, look through it for me in PDF format, but I am under a deadline. So I am just, I got my little, your files are being reviewed because I said, go ahead and keep this file, even though there are some errors. You can see me here just following the flow that Create Space takes you through, picking categories, adding my description, which I took from the copy that I'd already written for the coloring book. The same thing with my bio. I just copied it from the PDF of the coloring book, so I don't have to rewrite that stuff. And then this is a whole new publishing on Kindle workflow. I don't really care if this is published on Kindle because it is a coloring book. Uh, so yeah, that is where we're at. And the next bit will be once I hopefully get an approval, I can take you through the rest of the flow in terms of ordering your own proofs and copies and getting those in hand.